In this video, we're going to use a basic kinematic equations to determine the height of a building. So all you have to do is go to the top of a building, drop a ball and measure the time it takes to reach to the, the floor. If you have measured this information or in fact, if you have measured the time correctly, you should be able to measure the height of the building very accurately. And of course, here we are ignoring the error systems. So let's start. So here we have a ball here and this is a building and you are at the top of a building and you're dropping a ball. So you drop the ball and then you started measuring the time. The time it takes from the top of the building to the floor is 10 seconds. So you have to find out what is the height of the building. So the initial speed, the initial speed of the, the ball is zero meter per second because it is starting from rest. And the acceleration due to gravity, G value is 10 meter per second square. In fact, it has to be 9.81 meter per second square but for but to make calculation faster and easier we have chosen to 10 meter per second square so that's perfectly fine it, it is just an approximation okay so here the kinematic equations are so here we have three kinematic equations and out of these three you have to pick one and because we have the time given, so we have to look for the equation that involves time. And also we have to find out the h, that's the height. So if I choose this equation, there is a time, but it does not have the height. So we cannot use this equation. In this equation, there is a height, but there is no time. So we cannot use this equation either. But now if I look at this equation, I have all the known parameters and all the parameters that we need to find. We have the h, that's the height, that we need to find out, and the time is given. So we're going to use this equation. So here, that's the equation here. So let's plug in all the known numbers. The initial speed is zero, so zero. Time is 10, plus half, g value is 10, that's the g value. The time is given, that is 10, a square. And if you do the math, you'll get the 50 meter. So if a ball takes 10 seconds to reach to the ground, that means the height of the building must be approximately 50 meter. And of course here we ignoring the error systems. All right. And now let's say if you have to find out what is the speed of the ball when it hits the floor. How do you find out? So now let's say if you have to find out the speed of the ball when it hits the floor, then you have to use an equation. And in that case, I'm going to use this equation here. Or even I can use this equation. Any equation should perfectly work. So let's start with this equation here. The final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus g times t. Whenever I use an equation, I always use this bracket here. So the final velocity, we have to find out the initial is zero. G value is acceleration due to gravity is 10. And the time is also 10. So my final speed is 100 meter per second. That's the speed at which the ball hits the floor. So this is it from this video. If you have any question, any confusion, let me know. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.